welcome back to my channel today I'm here with a new video actually I'm here doing a requested video one of my subscribers asked me to do a comparison and they asked me to compare the Dior backstage foundation against the born this way um, skin tint by Too Faced at first I wasn't sure if I was gonna do the video just because I felt like these are not similar at all one is a skin tint and one is a foundation and outside of the packaging looking almost the same I don't really feel like there's much of a comparison but we gonna put all that to the test today but before we get started if it is your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like button now, I also want to mention today's sponsor today's video is sponsored by dossier they were nice enough to send me over some fragrances Dossier is now available in Walmart, over 1,400 stores to be exact. You can go over to the Dossier website, which I will have linked below, and you can click on the store locator to find what store near you that carries the Dossier fragrance. It's about Dossier perfumes a couple times here on my channel. They really give you luxe quality fragrances for an affordable price. Right now, my favorite fragrance from Dossier is the Amber Charles exactly like Tom Ford. I will highly uh, recommend this fragrance. If you felt like Tom Ford Lost Cherry is a little too pricey for you, definitely pick this up. It smells identical. It honestly does. Um, and I have the actual Tom Ford fragrance. And when I smelled this, I was like, oh my God, this smells exactly like Lost Cherry. And these fragrances only retail for $50. And now they are available at your local Walmart. So definitely go over to the store locator on the Dossier's website and find a Walmart near you that carry the whole line of Dossier fragrance. Anyway, y'all, let's just jump right into today's video. Okay, so what I think I am going to do in today's video, I'm going to put the Dior on the right side of my face and then I'm going to put the Too Faced on the uh, left side of my face. So I'm going to start with the foundation. This foundation retails for $40. It's available in over 40 shades. The coverage is medium has a natural finish. This is waterproof and sweat resistant. And I have the shade 5N. Today I'm going to be using the One Size Secure the Sweat Primer. Gonna apply the Too Faced Born This Way skin tint on the left side of my face. Tinted moisturizer retail for $42. It's available in 16 shades. It has light coverage. It is vegan, long wear, and hydrating, and oil free. And also has SPF 30. Now I have the shade Maple. So now I'm going to apply it to the left side of my face. both products on my face I have the Dior on the right side and I have the Too Faced um, skin tint on the left side of my face right now they both look very skin like it looks like I have on one foundation um, I forgot to mention earlier with the Dior foundation you get 1.6 fluid ounce of products and with the Too Faced you get exactly two ounces of product so that's one of the slight difference also I feel like this is a tad bit watery then this one like this is a little on the runny side um right now i feel like both sides look good i can't really say i like this side or that side the best it looks the same it looks very flawless um it is giving so in the comment section what side do you like the best of course i'm gonna do my normal wear test and then i'll be back in a couple hours and we'll see exactly what my face looks like and then i'll tell y'all which one i like the best and to be honest, going into this review, um, when I was first asked to do a comparison, I was thinking like, I don't really feel like these would compare to each other. But right now, they look very similar. Like it's almost giving the same exact thing, which is skin with <laughs> medium coverage. But I'll see y'all in a few. All right, y'all, I'm back after having both products on for about seven and a half hours. This is what my face looks like. I am starting to get shiny in my T-zone area. That's the typical spot where shine comes through. Um, other than that, I feel like both foundations, well, actually, this is not a foundation. It's technically a skin tint, but 
I know and when I first reviewed this, I did say I don't feel like this is giving me tinted moisturizer. This is giving me medium coverage foundation and that's pretty much what it gave today. Um, I feel like both um, complexion products did the same exact thing. They look the same exact way. I got the same amount of coverage, which is medium. Both products are buildable. They both are very long wearing. And I do feel like both products will hold up on all skin types. Now I do know for a fact that this Dior Backstage Foundation performs well in very uh, hot and humid weather. I took this with me to Puerto Rico and I was really impressed with this a few months ago. Now, I don't know how well this will hold up in humid temperatures yet just because it hasn't been like really hot here but over the summer of course I will test it out. Um, in today's video I don't feel like I have a clear cut decision on which one I like because I feel like they did the same exact thing. They look the same exact way right now. It looks very skin like and I feel like both products started to look better and better as it set on my skin. Right now it looks like I have on one foundation. It's very hard to tell I have on two different complexion products. So I'm sorry to the person who asked me to do a comparison video that I don't have a clear cut decision for you but hopefully this has helped you out on whether or not you want to pick up the Too Faced or the Dior foundation or you want to go with both. And also because I did forget to mention the Dior Backstage um, foundation is being reformulated. Lately Dior has been um, changing a lot of their products to more cleaner ingredients and right now you cannot find this on the Dior website. You can't find this on Nordstrom. I'm not sure about Bloomingdale's or Saks but the you only can get this is at Sephora. Oh. If you really like this foundation a lot, I would suggest getting a backup from Sephora because I can honestly say since Dior has been reformulating things, a lot of products have not been great. Um, they did a good job with the concealer, but the Dior Forever Matte um, foundation is trash. So we'll know how this is going to go. So I would say right now, get a backup just in case. If you've been thinking about picking this up, I don't know whether or not you want to get it now from Sephora or you want to wait until it comes back out with clean ingredients. That's pretty much up to you. But um, outside of that, I just can't pick which side I feel like looks best. Anyway, y'all, that is it for today's video. Y'all let me know in the comment section which side do you feel looks best. Y'all also let me know, have you tried out either one of these products? Which one you feel is better? Leave that below in the comment section. And most importantly, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.